guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five common myths um, that people think about guinea pigs. And I actually have them all written out on my little notebook where I write down like all of my video ideas and whatnot. So if I look down, that's because they're on here. So the first one that's the common a misconception with guinea pigs is having two guinea pigs mean that they were they're not going to bond with their owner or with their human which is totally wrong because it doesn't matter anything about them bonding with you yes they bond with each other but they can also bond with the owner the owner provides them with proper like taming methods and all this kind of stuff which i'm actually going to make a video about how to tame a guinea pig um, but guinea pigs are going to bond with you. Some guinea pigs will be more skittish and more nor nervous. Can I talk? No. Some guinea pigs are going to be more like nervous and tend to be like cautious about people. But some guinea pigs are really going to run up to you, stand on their little hind legs, look for you, you let you let them pet them on, they might nibble on your finger. It just all depends on the personality of the guinea pig. Second common myth is that guinea pigs are inactive so they do not need a lot of cage space. Now that really irks me and I that really bothers me when people do cage tours and their cages are like the size of like a notebook like it really really bothers me because guinea pigs are extremely active animals I can't tell you multiple times when I come into the room and I just see my guinea pigs going round in circles climbing everywhere and actually Pirate, my Abyssinian, the black and white one, he gets up on his house, he jumps down, and he does that periodically. He loves it. He runs around popcorns everywhere. If you guys seen my popcorning video, it's literally what they do. And they're most active in dawn and dusk. So when you come into the room during the day when we're most active, of course they're not going to be active. They're going to be sleeping. And they do need a big cage because no one can live in a tiny cage like that. How would you feel if you were locked up in that cage by yourself because cage, cage like that won't fit two guinea pigs in it. You would go crazy. Third common myth is two or more male guinea pigs can't live together. Now obviously I've made a video of how to bond male guinea pigs. It's my previous video so if you guys want to check that out right down there or down there I guess. <laughs> um, um, and that's not true. Of course you can lessen the chances by it if you um neuter both boys but I didn't because you know they get along well so I didn't see the point in it but that's completely untrue you just have to make sure you bond them properly you can't just throw two boys in the cage and be like okay sort it out obviously they're gonna sort out the hierarchy but if you see that they just do not get along with each other and it could be a variety of reasons you know like a male and a female might not get along because they both have just different personalities so just Make sure you do your research about bonding guinea pigs. Also check that video out again. And yeah. Number four. Guinea pigs can't be neutered or spayed. Now I can see why that's a common myth. Um, because these procedures are very actually um, risky for your guinea pig. But if it comes down to it and you have to neuter or spay your animal, it's not, it's not that big of a deal. Like you can do it. It's more riskier, but you can do it. And the fifth one, which also really irks me and pushes my buttons, is when people say a guinea pig is a great pet for a child. They're not. The guinea pigs require a lot, a lot of care, a lot of time and energy put into them. That's why pet stores um, say they're a good, like, star pet because, oh, you have to just sit there, watch them, and you can, like, look at them, essentially. But they actually require a lot of care. And they're prone to a lot of medical issues. You just, you have to clip their nails. You have to clean them. You have to like make sure they're all good. So you really, really, really like need to take care of them. Because if not, there's a lot of high risks of um, them developing a medical issue or them dying. So it's definitely not a good starter pet for a child. So anyway, these are my five common myths about guinea pigs. There are definitely more out there. So if you guys want me to do some, please let me know and comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all soon. Bye.